Well, hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Maybe you're up in the middle of the night because you can't sleep. I get it. I'm here for that too. I needed to get ready today. I figured I would chat with y'all while I do it. I've got some fresh coffee. <sighs> My little Disneyland mug missing Disney so much. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these. It's probably been like a month. I like to do them once a month just to chat with you guys on a level that's not just about makeup or about groceries or about whatever in the world we're talking about. And especially if you're someone that doesn't watch our vlogs, then you really don't necessarily know what's going on in my life. I don't know if you care or not, but I'm here to tell you about it. But first off, how are you guys doing? Are you guys doing okay? Is life um, you know, with all of the coronavirus stuff, are you like back at work? Are you looking for a job? Like what's the status on how everything's going with you? I know it's just, everything is so different for everyone. We're all at such a different walks of life. How are you doing with like learning about racism? If you're someone like me that's been trying to educate myself, I'm just about finished with one book and I'm gonna start another and I'm trying to decide what I wanna read next. So let me know your recommendations below. I've gotten a lot, I have a list that's like 10 long of things I wanna read. So I really wanna hone through that and figure out what I wanna read next. So let me know your thoughts, what you're doing to educate yourself. As usual, by the way, in these videos, I kind of just dive right in, but I don't always talk about the makeup I'm using, but I'll have all of it listed below. And I usually put a picture on the screen of what I'm using while I'm using it. So this is the super group, super goop glow screen. I always wanna say super group gloop screen. So something interesting, speaking of like sharing about Black Lives Matter and resources and stuff like that, if you saw my black owned beauty brands video I did last, yeah, last week at this point, um, if you saw that, I'm donating the ads from that. I explained more about that, but I'm donating the funds to Equal Justice Initiative for that video. And here's the thing, I can place ads in certain points of videos. I don't always, a lot of times I let YouTube kind of automate it but I intentionally place more ads on that video thinking, well, that will raise more money. And so I know a lot of you guys were like willing to watch the ads cause it was a kind of free way, if you will, to donate money to things like that. Here's the thing. A lot of you guys told me you did not see any ads and I placed at least like four or five during the video. As far as I understand it, advertisers can decide like if there are certain uh, keywords they're looking for in a video or in a title or whatever that they want to advertise with. That's why a lot of times if you watch a lot of makeup videos, you start to see more makeup ads, right? It makes sense. Well, I don't know. I, okay, so I wanna say that right now. I don't know any of this for sure, but I wonder if um, there were brands or maybe like anyone that used hashtags like Black Lives Matter and things like that, if there were less advertisers wanting to advertise on that. I don't know. It just seemed odd to me and it certainly didn't seem coincidental and definitely the amount of money that the AdSense made from that is like way less than what a normal video of mine does. And the views were not like way lower or anything like that. So odd. I'm gonna kind of keep tabs on that and keep looking at that, but it was just kind of bizarre. So I think I'm gonna donate more of my own money as well with that, which I was planning on doing anyway, but especially since it was way less than what I would typically make. Anyway, just wanted to make you guys aware of that because I did think it was weird and I don't know what the deal is, but just saying. I've been using this pretty much every day, the L'Oreal Age Perfect Serum Foundation. I just, it's so easy, it's so pretty. It doesn't look crazy, you know, like if I go out with a mask on, I feel like I'll take the mask off and because this isn't crazy high coverage, it still looks nice from where the mask was. I can just kind of tap it in and it'll kind of blend back into place. I am really, really enjoying that. So a lot has happened in my life in the past few weeks. First off, today I actually got my attachments for my Invisalign off. Now you can't tell, I'll take the trays out in just a second and show you. You can't tell because I'm wearing my old Invisalign from this week that still has the little bump outs for the attachments that they attach to your teeth. But I got them removed today and in a week I get my like retainer that looks similar to Invisalign. It's just a little more like heavy duty and long lasting. And I think I'll have to wear that for maybe a few weeks, a few months, all the time like I do now. And then eventually I'll just wear it at night like a normal retainer. So I'm pretty much done other than just that. So that's exciting. And so here, let me take them out. I am so happy with how straight my teeth are. They, I mean, they're smooth again because those attachments feel bumpy. It's kind of weird. Uh, 
I'm so content. And so the orthodontist kind of shaped the bottom of my teeth, kind of contoured them a little bit and uh, in the top of these teeth. And I'm just very, very, very content. So it's just wild that like in nine months, my smile is completely different. If you wanna hear more about that, that's all I'm gonna say about it today. But if you wanna hear more about that, I have done two different videos, one when I first started it and one like halfway through. I can link down below if you're someone that's wanting to know more. So that was a big thing that happened, you know what I mean? Getting that taken out this morning, it took them no time at all, it's so crazy. Another thing that we are figuring out right now is that Pinocchio, our dog, who's a beagle and he's like five years old, he's spunky, he's goofy, he likes to play, he likes to go on walks, suddenly he was just like really sick and he had eaten a bone he wasn't supposed to. So we thought that's what the problem was, but he was still going to the bathroom okay. And so we'd taken him into an emergency vet because I was playing with him one evening a couple days after he ate the bone and he just like yelped in pain. Like he landed on the ground and again, we weren't playing super rough. We were playing the normal way we do anyway. And he just yelped and landed on the ground. And I was like, what is going on? That was very abnormal for him. And so we couldn't really rouse him to play anymore. And he was just laying around. So after like an hour or two after, what is going on with my like cala here? Um, so after like an hour or two of him just being like that, probably more like an hour, we decided, I looked up a like 24 hour vet place and took him there. Fast forward, that was a whole crazy experience. Very bizarre experience because you had to wait in the car because of everything. And so I was literally in my car for like four hours waiting on him. I'm like, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm hungry, you know. I'm worried about him, worried sick about him. I'm trying to find my brow stuff. Finally, uh, they basically, they do some x-rays and stuff and they're like, you know, we think he's, he doesn't have any blockages. Our fear was that he had like blockages from like bone fragments or anything like that. They did the x-rays, didn't really find anything, but they're like, but we did see that he's um, a little tender on his back somewhere when we were kind of feeling on him. And it could be that he has some kind of like, like disc disease, which is pretty common in dogs like beagles that have like longer backs, which I'm like, I'd never heard of this, you know what I mean? And so we're like, well, you know, give us the medicine we need for, you know, making sure the stomach, everything gets out of there. We'll deal with this later. So we're kind of keeping an eye on him. He's getting his medicine for his stomach to make sure everything passes through him okay. And he's still acting so lethargic. And at first we attributed it to the medicine, right? There was some pain medicine and the, there was some medicine to help with the inflammation in his stomach. Fast forward and he's still acting like this. And so we're like, okay, it's been a while and he shouldn't still be like this. So we took him off the pain medicine to see like, well, maybe it's just the medicine and it was even worse. So we made an appointment and Tyler took him this morning to our like actual normal vet during normal hours. You know, the, a doctor who actually knows Pinocchio has his history and all that. And so he was able to look at the x-rays from, from the emergency place and all of that and look at the medicine he's been taking. And basically he examined him and was like, I think, you know, his stomach's okay because he'd been having like normal bowel movements. I know, are, are any of you guys wanting to know any of this? I'm giving way too many details. Anyway, long story short, he thinks it might not necessarily be like a disc problem. It could just be his hip. Like he might have pulled it weird. He gave him some steroids. I think it was prednisone, uh, which is funny. It's actually the same stuff. Uh, I'm sure a different dosage, but the same stuff our daughter had when she was um, having a lot of breathing issues. She always, every time she would get sick, she would have like horrible bron bronchiolitis and things like that. Anyway, uh, this is his wife, Jessica. Yeah, just one second. Anyway, so he was put on this steroid this morning. And so when we picked him up from the vet, he got home and he was like almost back to his normal self, like happy wagging his tail. And so I think it's making him feel a little bit better. So he's going to have a course of that for the next week or two, um, kind of tapered off. So I'm glad that he's starting to feel better. I'm trying not to kind of count my chickens, but I'm really hoping it really is just something, a little minor injury that will get better because I know that there's a lot of things. I've had a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are vets, a lot of you guys are vet techs, et cetera, and you have shared with me like an in Instagram messages like, you know, it could lead to surgery, it can lead to paralysis if he does have that and you don't take care of it. So yeah, that's where we're at with that. I'm so relieved because, you know, it just weighs heavy on you when you have an animal or someone you love that can't communicate what's wrong with them and you want to fix them and you're not sure how. And so that was, it's just been a weird week with that and not kind of that unknown, dealing with the unknown of what's wrong with him was hard. I'm gonna use this ColourPop Blush Crush. 
eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. I kind of had it in my thing when I was doing my vanity tour and shopping my stash and I was like, I want to use that. I hadn't used it and it really is pretty and I love these kind of peachy tones. So did you guys hear, I don't know if you guys watch Raw Beauty Christy here on YouTube. I do. And she has been trying for so long to have a baby and she just announced that she's pregnant in a video. And the video is totally, I feel like even if you don't know her or watch her, it's still a tearjerker because if you are someone or know anyone that has struggled with infertility, struggled with getting pregnant for one reason or another, it's freaking heartbreaking. And it was so, it's just so sweet. And I love the way she, I'm assuming she edited the video. I love the way she put that together. Old clips from years gone by where they talked about it and then fast forwarding to now. So I'll link her video. It is so, so sweet. So I'm excited for her. I'm praying that everything goes well with the rest of her pregnancy. Cause I know I'm sure they are just over the moon. So I had to like bring that up because I was just like, it's just so, I don't know. I feel like with YouTube, do you ever feel like some of the people you watch, you are like emotionally attached to? And she's one that I, I have been emotionally attached to for a while where I feel like she, you know, what's going on in her life, I care about. Like when a cat of hers is sick or something's going on, I feel for her in that way. And there's certainly other YouTubers I feel the same way. So I just wanted to bring it up. I, I'm sure some of you guys definitely, I mean, she's got way more subscribers than I. I'm sure many of you guys watch her and it's just, I'm so excited for them. I'm so, so excited for them. Also, does anyone know where Tati has been? I don't know if she's just taking a break, de-stressing, um, but I just noticed she hasn't been posting and it's been a long time. Like, I feel like it's been a couple months. I don't know, I should look again, but she's someone that I don't watch necessarily every single upload, but it was definitely kind of noticeable after a few weeks. I'm like, wait a minute, like, where has she been? Any of you guys know? I don't feel like she's posted much on her social at all either. I hope she's okay. I wanna tap a little of my favorite, the L'Oreal Amber Rush. I just, <laughs> I don't even need it. Like this look is done and, but you guys know me. I like really simple looks, but it's just so pretty. So we are going camping this weekend and that's gonna be interesting. Well, okay, I should say this. We are not camping, we'll be at a hotel. And the reason was we were supposed to camp with his parents uh, the next weekend and we were like, all right, we can't camp with a two year old two weekends in a row. Like that's just, it's too much to deal with trying to figure out, you know, a pack and play in a tent and bathroom situation. So we figured, well, we'll camp with them. But then with my family, uh, we figured we'd stay in a hotel, but then there's a campsite that some of them are staying on that we can kind of interact with them there and share some meals and things like that. So I'm saying camping, but really at, in the evening, we will be going to our hotel. It's like, a, did you guys ever, do you guys remember the, the episode of Hey Arnold where they're like camping and like Helga Pataki and her dad from Big Bob's Beaker, Beepers. Oh my gosh, I loved that show, still do. Like rolls up in his giant RV and they're like camping like that. And Arnold's with his grandpa and they're like legitimately camping and all Arnold wants is like the steak and eggs that they're making for breakfast over there. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I loved that show, Hair and All. That is like easily, easily top three favorite shows of my childhood. I don't know why I loved it so much, but I did. That and Rugrats, those are both up there. I used to have a Hey Arnold mug that I loved. I bought for like $5 at a store near me called Meyer, and I broke it. <laughs> it like fell and it broke and I've never been more heartbroken. I'm gonna throw on just a little bit of liner, the Revlon Colorstay Micro. So this weekend, that'll be fun. It'll be nice to see not all of our family is going. We're trying to all be kind of smart about it. So we'll see how that goes. I can't talk and put on liner, you guys know that. Can you? It's like, that's a special talent right there if you can do that. My husband is someone, he's on the phone right now. Can you hear? He's so loud when he's on the phone. Honestly, I'm just loud 24 seven. So I guess I just don't adjust. <laughs> I should, but I don't. But he is like ultra loud on the phone. I'm like, dude. So our five year wedding anniversary is in, well, I'm filming this on the 17th. You're probably seeing it on Friday, the 19th. Um, but it's, so then it's tomorrow, it's Saturday the 20th, basically, is our five year wedding anniversary. And today I was in the car and I was listening. It just came on shuffle. A song by an artist that, John McLaughlin, if you know who he is, and one of his songs was like played at our wedding, like before I walked down the aisle, not while I did. Um, so a lot of his songs are just meaningful to both me and Tyler. And ugh, it just got me in all the feels, you know what I mean? It was just, 
just crazy that it's been five years since I married him and that it's been over 10 years since we've known each other, like 10 and a half. And I think about where I was and what was going on in my life when I met him. And it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy to think about how much my life has completely changed. And he has helped me become so much more and so much better than what I was before. And I hope I'm doing the same for him. But ugh, it's just, I'm so thankful I didn't end up on the road that I was headed down, I guess I should say, with the people that were in my life and with, you know, that sounds awful. There are plenty of people that were in my life then that are still are and I love them, but just some people. And, you know, I feel like I made so many mistakes in college, like when it comes to like friends and love life and just all kinds of stuff that I regret and I wish I could change, but I am glad that I learned from them because I feel like high school and college is the time that you do learn from a lot of mistakes. And you know, I lost friends because of mistakes I made, bad choices I made. And that makes me sad. I look back on that and I really genuinely do feel sad, but at least I can look at it from the other side and say, well, Jessica, you learn from it. Those are things you can never and should never do again. So that is something I'm thankful for. The experience, even though it was crummy, it was a good experience to have. So of course hindsight is, like 2020, I wanted to say a million 20, but you know what I mean? Hindsight is 2020. All right, I wanna put on this cream blush before I like powder certain areas. Actually, I wanna put on a cream bronzer too. I've been continuing to use the Fenty Beauty cream bronzer. I like it, I mean, I, I like it. I'm not totally convinced it's like better than other cream bronzers I've used, but I do like it. I'm uh, looking towards a speed review video I'm sure I'll be doing soon here in the next, definitely in the next month, if not the next few weeks of products I've been trying over the past month, and this is one I definitely want to include, so I'm trying to make sure I know how I feel about it, you know? This is the shade, by the way, number two, Butter Biscuit. Uh, a few weeks ago, like two weeks ago, Genevieve turned two, our daughter. I just, it's crazy. It was, we just had just the grandparents over. Again, we wanted to keep it small for obvious reasons. Hi, Pinocchio. Hi. There's my sweet boy laying next to me. You're being a good boy, bud. Mm-hmm. Is it nap time? Okay. I'm always so excited when he comes in to say hi because the past week he's would just like go outside. We'd force him to go potty, you know, and he would just like go to his bed and go lay right back down. So it's exciting when he's like pound, bumping his nose to get in our room. It makes me happy. So by the way, this blush I'm wanting to use is the Physician's Formula Natural Defense Multicolor Stick. It's in the shade Soft Pink and you just kind of like roll it up. It's the perfect formula because it's, a cream, but it's not super emollient, but it's not super dry. It's kind of right in between, so you have time to like blend it. It's easy, just use like some kind of synthetic-ish brush that you can use to kind of blend it. You could tap it on with your fingers. I've blended it that way. You could use a sponge. Like it's one of those products that you almost can't screw up. You know what I mean? And I freaking, I love it. And it stays in place because it's not too emollient either. Mm -mm -mm. It does smell like hairspray though let you know. It's not crazy strong, but it does have kind of a hairspray smell. I'm gonna throw on a little Beauty Bakery uh, flower powder. So yeah, I just feel like as life is slightly getting back to normal, we're still trying to be careful because, I mean, my gosh, cases are spiking. Like, so we're still wearing our mask everywhere we go. We're still, you know, I hope you guys are too, um, being as safe as possible. And we're still not going out a ton when we don't need to. I mean, there have been a few times, like for his birthday, we went to Amish country and again, we masked up, we were washing our hands constantly, we were staying away from people, but you know, we did go out to eat and we did do those kinds of things because we were celebrating his birthday. So it's just trying to be smart about it. I feel like some people aren't being so super smart about it and that is scary and it's no wonder there's so many spikes. So I hope you guys are still wearing your masks too. Speaking of uh, being smart, one thing that we're doing because Tyler, my husband needs to know and he doesn't wanna go alone and frankly, I wanna go, is just he and I, we're not bringing Genevieve, obviously. We are going to Disney when it reopens. And um, it's not for, it's not until next month. It's like another month away. And again, they've got so many. I mean, this is a company that has a lot to lose if a ton of people get sick going there. So they are playing it very safe. I mean, my gosh, the rules that they have in place are pretty incredible, honestly. So 
But my husband, who's a Disney travel agent, kind of needs to know how it all works. He's had so many clients that are like, we want to go, but maybe in a few months, like what's it like at Disney now? Because there's a whole new reservation system. You have to now reserve a time to actually go in the park or like which park you're going to go to. And so there's a lot that is different probably for the remainder of this year because of all of this. But Tyler's like, it's all hearsay for me until I actually experience it. So that's what we're planning on doing. Um, like I said, we're not bringing Genevieve for obvious reasons. So I'll be curious to see how this all goes down. I'm I'm not nervous, but it's more one of those we are going to be so overly cautious and we're um, just kind of curious. We know it's not going to be a normal Disney trip. Anything that would draw a crowd, they've closed down. So like parades where people would be standing near each other watching it or like fireworks, none of those are going to be happening. So. That's what I mean by Disney really is being pretty smart about it, but I'm very curious to see, well, what will it look like to wait in a line for a ride? You know what I mean? Like, how are they doing this kind of stuff? So I'm sure they'll be doing virtual queues as well. And so you only come back when it's your turn to go ride it, that kind of thing. We're just gonna see, that's why we're going. We will report back, cause someone has to be the guinea pig. I am excited though. I mean, we're excited to go and we're excited. We're kind of treating this as our five year anniversary, like, trip if you will we were wanting to like go go somewhere like do a big maybe go to hawaii or do something like that but we're like yeah no that's not happening so we figure we're kind of treating this as our own little especially since we're not bringing her our own little getaway to disney that's the update on that i know i've had a lot of questions about like are we still going what's the plan um what am i doing oh i wanted a little highlight huh? so for highlight i wanted to use this jcat pearl luminizer powder i'm still loving as a highlight it's like the most beautiful, subtle, loose highlight. Oh my gosh. It's truly one of my favorites and I'm so glad I have it in my life now. This was a Taylor Wynn made me buy it from a video we did together. Really pretty on the brow bone too and like tip of the nose because it is finely milled. It just catches light beautifully. It's not icy, but it's just like it melts into the skin beautifully. I love it. Love it. And this is going to last a thousand years and I Pretty sure it's under 10 bucks. Like it is not an expensive product. I'm gonna throw on the Rimmel Blushing Belgraves. That's the shade of their Stay Glossy Lip Gloss. Still one of my favorites. Uh, it's been at the drugstore for years and years and years and it's just kind of a grayish pink. And it's so pretty. I just, I like it. It's pretty on top of, of like lip color or alone. I really, really like it. And it's like five bucks. So that's everything I have to chat with y'all about today. I can't, I was trying to like rack my brain like, what else has happened in the past month that we didn't touch on? That's really all I can think about, but I hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, let me know how you're doing below. I do read through my comments. I wish I had the time to comment back to all of you guys. And there are some videos that go by where I don't have the time to comment back at all, but I'm reading them. I read all of the comments. Thank you guys for continuing to support me over the past few months as everything in our lives is just so tumultuous, right? And we're, you know, getting through all of this together. I would like to, in the next few weeks, do a live video again. I haven't done one in a while. I did a few early on when we were all starting to like be quarantined. Uh, and I would like to do one again because it's been a while. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. Maybe I'll plan for that in the next week or two. And I hope that you'll subscribe to catch more of my videos. I upload videos three times a week, beauty, lifestyle, home, groceries, cooking, all kinds of stuff. And of course, I'd love to say hi to you on social media. It is at It's Jessica Braun. I almost forgot what social media it was called. And then I remember. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.